<laughs> Chase your life gear. You wanna see that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Coming down. Y'all know what it is. See so if you can go to the merch shop. Get that paper chaser for life gear. Uh. What it do all my paper chasers for life squad, all my YouTubers, Facebookers, CDL holders. Uh, y'all know who y'all are, man. Everybody in there, man. Even if you don't have a CDL and you ain't out here truck driving. What it do, what it do, what it do. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Still over here in Hutchinson, Kansas. Over here at the Loves. Going to uh, get ready to go pick up a load. And uh, keep it moving, man. Keep it grooving. Keep it moving. Y'all know the deal, man. Just sitting here chilling right quick. Uh, just finished eating a little breakfast and stuff. We're about to get up out of here and head on over there to get that load and uh, get moving with it. And uh, drop it off Thursday morning. And uh, keep it moving, man. Keep it moving. Keep it grooving. I got to go to uh, Winfield, uh, Kansas. And pick up a load that's going over to uh, Tolleson, Arizona. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, uh, man, y'all know what time it is. It's time to get it and, uh, and and make this money. Make this money. And then uh, go pick up a load after that. And uh, get on home for Christmas, man. Get on home for Christmas. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all know how it is, man. Just sitting here. Chilling like a villain. Um, Got to do a little cleaning up over there. You know, Bailey, Bailey to put her toys over there and stuff. But uh, it is what it is, man. That's daddy's girl, and she can't do no wrong, man. She's spoiled like a like a little fat rat. She's spoiled, man. So can't do no wrong, man. But uh, gonna get up out of here. Go get this load. So y'all know what it is, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. All my wonderful people. Let's get the hell up out of here, man. It's time to ride. made over here in Winfield, Kansas. Uh, that's the shipping office right there. Go up the ramp there. Go into the shipping office. Park here and then walk up there and uh, your pickup number should have 10 digits or 8 digits and uh, he gave me door 23 so my door is down there. He said uh, back into the dock. Slide your tandems all the way to the rear. Sorry about the wind. Slide your tandems all the way to the rear, and uh, and uh, somebody will come out, seal up your trailer. Once they come out, seal up your trailer, pull back up to get your paperwork, and then you're out of here, man. So let me open these doors right quick and go back up to my dock, get this thing loaded up. Thing's supposed to be like 2,600 pounds, 
something like that, man. Going down to Tolleson, thousand miles, thousand and something miles. Get over to Tolleson. So, um, got plenty of time to do that. And uh, get this load dropped off uh, day after tomorrow at uh, 4.30 in the morning. Their time over there. So, um, it is... 11 something here yeah 11 30 here and it's about 9 30 over there eight i mean uh 10 30 yeah it's an hour behind yeah they're on mountain time you know? so man this wind is crazy guys and i'm gonna have to deal with this stuff all the way down the all the way over to tolleson wind is crazy man it's crazy but it's a light load not gonna waste much fuel and uh I'll get it done for sure. You know how your boy do it. I'll get back with y'all when I get to my door. All right, guys. Got the young girl back in the door, 23 over here. And uh, hey, hey, this way. Got her back in the door, 23. Got the tandem slid, doors open. So uh, just waiting for it to get loaded. Then somebody will come out and uh, put a seal on it. And uh, like I said, pull up to the office there and get your paperwork and then skedaddle, skadoodle. Get on, get. Go on, get it. Get on it. Make it happen. Do it to it. Gonna walk a little knucklehead here for a little bit. And uh, I'll get back with you guys uh, when I get up out of here. How's it going, man? <laughs> that big old Western star there. Man, that's nice. I like them Western stars. Come on, go party, come on, come on. Take care, man. Let this little knucklehead run around, man. I'll get back with y'all after a while. <laughs> it's crazy. Everybody doing all right. Pour some liquid out there on the ground. Uh, 
doing a walk around. Made it over here to the pilot over here in uh, Stratford, Texas. Made it over here uh, last night. Man, I dealt with that wind basically uh, till I got to uh, almost out of Kansas. Almost out of Kansas, over there by Meade, Kansas. That's why I finally ran out. Of <coughs> That's why I finally ran out of that wind. But yeah, made it over here to the pilot over here. Fuel is three dollars and sixty-nine cents. Three sixty-nine three twenty-six over across the street there at the at the officers. Hell, I'd rather take that, you know, than to pay three sixty-nine. But out here checking lights, man. Making sure everything good. A little chilly out here, not too bad. But uh, it is a little chilly. Um, it's better than dealing with them with them low temperatures that I was dealing with up there in uh, up there in uh, uh, Kentucky and all that, man. I mean, uh, not Kentucky, over there in Kansas and 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 crap like that up there, man. It's better than that. It's like in the 40s over here, but uh, this is a whole lot better. Let me tell you that. But uh, just out here checking lights this morning, man. About to get up out of here and do some rolling. Um, got 10 hours and and uh, 10 and a half hours on my clock. So uh, running on recaps right now. And uh, this will be our on time delivery. Ain't no doubt about that. Gonna get it, gonna get it popping, gonna get it shaking, gonna get it moving, gonna get it grooving. Y'all know what I'm talking about, you dig a feel me? So, uh, want you guys to be safe today, man. Want y'all to have a good hump day. And, uh, keep grinding, keep grinding, keep, keep grinding. If you don't grind, you don't shine, baby. And that's, that's, that's real talk right there, man. That's real talk. So, uh, y'all be safe, God bless y'all, love you guys. And uh, I'll get back with y'all later, man. Let y'all know what we stop for tonight. Yes, sir. Or the day. Whatever, whatever comes first. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Well, what I would consider cheap in this economy, you know, 
and then you get to uh, states like New Mexico and Arizona and California, and the fuel is what I consider high, you know? So uh, I brought fuel yesterday in a town called uh, Medicine something, Kansas, and it was 308 over there. So uh, I went on and topped it off. I put 151 gallons in, 308, because everywhere I was looking, past there, coming out this way, was uh, well over three dollars, three dollars and forty something cents, three dollars and sixty something cents, you know, and uh, I don't want to pay that, you know, so uh, I'm, I'm trying to get it as cheap as I can, and, uh, and, and, and do it like that, man, versus just being out here and buying fuel, you know, like, like crazy. No, no, don't do that, guys. Always check the fuel prices. There's plenty of apps out there for, the, for you to use. It's mud flap, it's nasty. It's all kinds of them, guys. You just gotta find the one that works for you. Um, get up out of here. I might have to go into New Mexico scale, so I'm gonna get up out of here. And once I stop the fuel, I'll get back with you guys then, man. Y'all be safe. Enjoy your day. Yes, sir. What's up, all my people? What's up? Made it over here to the uh, Flying J over here in Jamestown, New Mexico. Exit uh, 39 over here off I-40. No matter if you're going east or if you're going west, it's going to be exit 39 over here in Jamestown, New Mexico. Stopped over here to take a shower. Um, stopped in, uh, in uh, Albuquerque to get fuel because it was three dollars and 38 cents and uh nola only needed uh 69 gallons then i topped off the def also because the further west you go the more higher it's getting so um albuquerque was the cheapest spot and like i said i only got on uh 2900 pounds so it ain't and my truck ain't eating no fuel man it ain't eating no fuel at all so uh i'll be able to Get on over to Tolleson with that. Uh, I'm gonna start cutting down. Uh, I'm gonna start heading south over there in Holbrook, Arizona. Once I get to Holbrook, then I'll start going south. And uh, it'll still be some mountains to have to navigate and stuff like that. But um, it ain't gonna be bad because, like I said, I only got on 20, 2900, 27, something like that, man. I, I can't remember, but it's. it's it's less than 3,000 pounds, so um, wish I could have found another load to go with it, but it wasn't nothing available, so that's all I got back there. It's not even, it's only taking up the nose of the trailer, you know, so that's not bad, man. Not bad at all. Not wasting no fuel, and uh, gonna have plenty once I get over to Tolleson, and then, uh, and then my next load, uh, I'll be picking up some. I'll be uh, picking up a load, and and uh, that'll be good paying too. So, hey man, no complaints here, no complaints. Uh, it's cloudy over here, partly cloudy and sunny at the same time. Um, it's not that cold, uh, to be honest. It's not really cold out here. But uh, I'm gonna get ready to take a shower out here, walking knucklehead before I go in there and and get cleaned up, get all get all spiff it up and everything like that man that personal hygiene you know you gotta gotta watch that behind out here you gotta you gotta take care of that behind out here you know don't just wash your ass wash your whole ass you dig a feel me so i'll holler back at y'all later man yes sir y'all be safe
on this Thursday morning, all my people. I made it over here to the delivery, and uh, nobody's here. Come on. Nobody's here. Well, some guy just showed up, but uh, get over here, and I walk to the receiving door right there. Up that ramp there is a receiving door. There's a sign on the door that says, uh, go over by door 11 over there for the receiving. So I walk over there. There's a sign on that door that says, uh, receiving, start, receiving starts at 7 a.m. I'm like, what the hell? You know, my appointment is for 4.30 and nobody's going to be here until 7. So, uh... There's a driver across the street, well, right down this park down the street. He's walking up, and I'm telling him, you know, the receiving, the receiving office is over there. And he's like, my appointment is for 4 o'clock. And I'm like, mine's is for 4.30. But that sign says, no one to be here until, until 7. So, you know, what, what do we do? Uh, I guess we just sit here and wait it out there's a truck right there waiting he doesn't have his doors open he's not backed up to the dock yet but uh he's parked here um this crazy man this is crazy because i thought i was gonna be able to drop this load off at 4 30 and start heading toward my next load to pick it up in the morning but trapped here now and uh it's crazy man there's always something crazy going on out here on these on these crazy streets, these crazy roads, these crazy places we have to go to pick up loads and drop off loads. But uh, I'll get back with y'all when I find out what's up. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, man, it was somebody here. Um, um, I was at the, the next building over when it's actually right down the street here at the next building. Uh, that's the security shack right there. Nice young man up in there helped me out. And, uh, well, I went inside the receiving over here because it was a young man that came and, uh, in his pickup truck coming, coming in to work. And, uh, and I got his, I got his attention and he says, uh, he made a couple of phone calls and said, you know, we got some receiving guys here, you know. And it's like for Cox and FedEx and stuff like that. Um, I'm supposed to be at Staples. So I'm here at Staples. And uh, and so uh, he said, go over there and knock on the door by door 11. So I went over there and knocked on the door. And a uh, guy opened the door. And I said, hey, man, I'm just trying to make sure I'm at the right place, you know. And he said, uh... I said, here, take a look at my paperwork. And uh, he says, it for Cox? And I said, bro, I have no idea because it says FC uh, Phoenix. And so uh, he looked at the paperwork and he's like, oh, no, no, bro. Your building is the next building over. So go out and make a left, come up the street and you'll see the Staples sign. Your, your load is for Staples. And I'm like, all right. So I get here. Stop at the guard shack right there. Talk to the nice young man there. He gets me checked in. They want me to back in the door 11 there. So uh, I'm gonna back in the door 11. Y'all check it out. And uh, we're gonna get it done, man. He said, once you back in, then you walk around the corner here. Walk around the corner on the other side of this wall here. And that'll be the receiving office. So uh, yeah, man, let's get set up. And let's, uh, let's watch me back in. Yes, sir. Skills on the wheels time.
you do it, boys and girls. That's how you get it done, man. That was quick and easy. And now it's time to uh, get this thing backed all the way in so we can get ready to uh, get it unloaded and get it up out of here. Y'all know how I do it, man. You know your boy don't play around. Come on now. Get this thing unloaded and start moving on to the next load. Yes, sir. I'll get back with y'all in a minute. All uh, right, my people. We're all done over here at the Staples over here in uh, Tolleson. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I had to get it done, man. So, y'all, man, don't be playing around out here, man. It's empty. Just got that uh that paperwork in my hand. Put it in the truck already. Uh, they prefer to have you sit inside while they unload you. But I told them if, if it was cool if I stepped outside. So, uh, I stepped outside and then uh, um, smoked me a cigarette. Then I went back in there. And uh, it was already done, man. Like I said, it was a light load. It was only 2,600 pounds. So uh, that's going to do it for the video, guys. I appreciate all the love, all the support, man, all the subscriptions. Uh, I ran into some rain on the way over here. So old Nolan got dirty again. But that's all good, man. That's all good. Getting ready to go home for Christmas and stuff after I pick up the next load. So um, supposed to be getting some rain where I'm going and then supposed to be raining at home uh this weekend something like that so not really worried about cleaning her up man so not right now so uh like I say man appreciate all the support and everything like that uh, I'm so glad you guys are rocking out with me on this journey man and uh let's keep it going man let's keep it going 2023 is almost over and uh we just gonna keep going into 2024 keep grinding keep shining Keep uh, uh, doing our thing, man. Keep pursuing our dreams. And uh, keep uh, keep staying steady. Keep staying steady. You know, ain't nothing to it but to do it, man. Don't let nobody talk you out of what you want to do. Don't let nobody take your dreams away, man. You know, uh, set goals. Reach them goals, man. Uh, set set, set whatever, whatever plans you have, man. And achieve those plans. You know what I mean? So, uh gonna get up out of here man i want to say love peace and hell grease to y'all man thank you all so much for everything god bless you all man and we'll see y'all on the next video coming up baby y'all know what it is you dig a feel me yes sir Chasing life here y'all see that yes sir yes sir coming down y'all know what it is so you can go to the merch shop get that paper taste for life here yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs>